Well, the uh, Stampeder season kicks off July 1st when they host the Montreal Alouettes in a Grey Cup rematch. This weekend, though, the kicker, their kicker, the Stamps kicker, teamed up with Montreal's kicker to host their kicking camp. He's one of the best in the business. When it comes to field goals, Sandro DeAngelis is money. Money! But no one grows up wanting to be a kicker, do they? Sandro did ever since he was four years old. I realized that, that God didn't bless me with the, the most intimidating figure. And uh, I, I played soccer a lot growing up as a kid. And, you know, I always loved football. And, and, and kicking was kind of a way for me to be able to compete with the bigger kids. This weekend, he's passing on his tricks of the trade to football's future. Kids from across the province and from as far away as Regina are here in the all-star kicking and punting camp. A great way to learn how to kick it. Just ask Griffin, who's hoping to fill the football quota one day. Not much people in the NFL are from Canada, so they want more people in the NFL, kickers from Canada. So then I wanted to try kicking because it would be easier to get in the NFL. The art of kicking a football seems simple enough, but there is a science to it. So what makes a good kicker? A good kicker needs to be a very confident and focused person. I'd be lying if I said that my job was as physically demanding as uh, you know, a lineman or a linebacker or a quarterback, but what it lacks in, in physical stress, it, it sure makes up for in mental stress. Who knows, maybe one day, this will be Griffin. And it's good, Sandro DeAngelis puts it through the uprights. No time left, and DeAngelis... What a class act, Sandro DeAngelis helping out the kids, giving back to the community. The Stampeders are just famous for all their community involvement. They uh, loads. They really loads do, and stuff. Sandro's tops, way mm -hmm. to go, so good camp. What do you think for the season? It is yeah. going to be a great season. We can't wait to get training camp underway, yeah. but I think they've got another great shot. Of course, they're hosting the Grey Cup. Yeah. They are not going to, you know, they're going to pull out all the stops. They want to win at home, and it would be great to see back-to-back -back Grey Cups, wouldn't it? That would be fantastic. We'll see. It gets right. going Here soon. at home, that'd be great. Thanks, Ryan. You bet. Hey, Anchorage, Alaska is a very hairy place to be this weekend. The city is hosting the 2009 World Beard and Mustache Championships. Today, the men put their best faces forward for a parade through downtown. More than 200 bearded competitors from 12 countries are entered in Saturday's main event, where they will strut facial hair. The World's Championships are held every two years, and this is the second time the championships have been in the United States. The last World Beard and Mustache Championship was held in Brighton, England in 2007, where Beard Team U.S. took first